Hi everybody, this is Mike and I am going to walk you through the process that we're going to use to um, get the graphing portion of our work done for this upcoming lab. So the first thing you do is you go to the FaradaysClub.com website, click on Chemistry 121, and then come down here to the labs portion and click on Excel. That's going to download something to your uh, computer. You open that up and what you're going to see is this spreadsheet that I made up. So we click on Enable Editing. That's going to allow me to plug things into it. And we can see here that the instructions tell us that we need to put the volume numbers we have in the light blue cells and the mass numbers we have in the salmon colored cells. And then the graphs are just going to automatically populate. And I've done that by design. So um, let's say in your first graduated cylinder trial, your first volume reading was 2 milliliters. Then it was 4.3 milliliters, then it was 6.5 milliliters, and then it was 8.6 milliliters. And the masses you read off there were um, 1.98 and 4.21 and uh, 6.45 and 8.57. Okay, what it does is it calculates an average density for you. Now notice that average density is not that far away from all the densities that you end up getting individually does all the math for you. When you come down here to this graph, one of the things that you see is you've got a graph now that has all these points on it. And one of the things that you're asked to do is to give a uh, best fit curve. So the way we do with this is we put in a trend line. So we right click on one of these data points and here where it says add trend line, click there. And you get these options over here. And the main one we'll look for is down here where it says display equation on chart. Okay, you can close that out. And then over here, you can see that now you have an equation for the line that goes through those points as best as possible. Now, there's a pretty good chance that your data is not going to look quite as nice, but um, this is the main thing that we want to get done. You're going to do the same thing for a pipette, and if you're using a 5 milliliter pipette, your volumes will probably be 5 mils, 10 mils, 15 mils, 20 mils, and your masses will probably be, again, just making this up, 5.01, uh, 10.03, 15.02 and 20.04. So um, right now, again, on the pipette one, we can right click, we can add the trend line and display the equation on the chart. And we're in pretty good shape. One of the other things you might notice is that when you come down here, the densities from those two here and here automatically come up here and here. When you put in the concentration of those solutions, which for this one, let's say, is the water solution, has a concentration of zero sugar, what happens now is that we've got our, the data points for these plots already in here. These are the plots that you're going to end up putting in your report. So what you do is you simply uh, click on there, copy it, and then paste that nice little plot into your report. Can't wait to read it. I hope that's helpful. Um, if you have any questions, ask me during lab or feel free to email me. Thank you very much.